Hello everyone, my name is Andrzej Krzywda. I'm one of the people from ArcNC and I'm also one of the people from Rails Event Store. And today I want to tell you why I'm starting a new Rails application, why it's a CRM and why it's going to use Rails Event Store. So for those of you, and before I start doing this, let me just do it in the background. So I'm gonna use uh, a template, which I will show you later for creating our new Rails application. And I will call it CRM because it usually takes a while. It, let's make it run in the background. Meanwhile, I will tell you some more details. So what's a CRM for those of you who don't know? It's a, uh, it's a application where you keep your information about your clients or potential clients or leads or something like that. So you now it's a bit enterprisey stuff, you could say. Uh, but why am I doing this? Uh, because life is beautiful or I'm just kidding. And because uh, we really need a new CRM application built with Rails. And the reason are uh, the reasons are because I looked at the code of existing solutions and I didn't like it to be diplomatic and because not invented here obviously so I want to build a CRM on my own on my own rules because Rails six is almost there and I really want to have an opportunity to try it because Rails way as the way of creating Rails application I don't think works well for bigger applications and CRM, CRMs usually tend to grow a big to big applications and because I want to make this application modular but every time programmers create something new they want to make it modular but it never happens or rarely happens but this time I really hope it will happen and the actual reasons are ArcNC needs a CRM <laughs> we are a small company but we have clients we have certain campaigns and it would be really nice to have some a proper way of handling those stuff. Uh, but for example, we are organizing a Rails, Rails Event Store conference. So it's a, it's a Ruby conference for Ruby Rails architects. It will happen second time this year in uh, 10, 10 to 12 October uh, 2019. And we started preparing for this and I realized, oh my God, it's yet another, yet another time where I really need a CRM and I don't have it. So, okay, let's, let's fix this problem. And, um, Maybe with a light it will be better. <laughs> um, and because Rails Event Store as a tool for um, uh, for uh, even driven Rails applications uh, needs more example applications and starter applications. Starter applications something that you can just copy and paste and then extend on your own. Uh, sample applications something that can can just work. And because I, as you can see, I'm a YouTuber now, so and I keep forgetting about those small details like lightning and fancy stuff. Uh, so I need something to show you what I'm coding and to show you some interesting stuff. Uh, feature wise, the MVP will be just listing companies and adding companies. Uh, optional, I want to have a Slack integration and overall I really want it to be very developer friendly. So good API and you know everything that developers need. So maybe markdown support and so on. Features later will be uh, support for campaigns, uh, for marketing, for sales. So it's all different domains, but I really want to have at least basic support for that. And later on, we'll be also have a separation between this application as a starter application or something with a good foundation, but something that you need to extend later and an actual CRM product. So something that you can just copy paste and it should just work for uh, most needs. However, keep in mind it will be driven by RKNC needs. Um, so it might have some RKNC influence. Uh, but we are probably not that weird, so <laughs> that, that should be really fine. Technically, it will be Ruby 2.63 for now, 2.7 later. It will be Rails 6.0. At the moment I'm recording this, it's a release candidate too, so there's a chance nothing will, not, nothing major will change. It will be deployed to Heroku because I know how it works. Uh, it will run with production tests at a concept that I will explain in some other videos. It will use mutation testing, another concept which will exp explain why and how. It will use Rails Event Store because I believe even driven architectures are um, the requirement for modular architectures. So there will be, it will be a lot about events and you can learn a lot about events, events here. And it will use concepts from DDD, SecureS and event sourcing, SecureS, so the split between writes and reads, DDD, uh, the focus on the domain and separation between the domain application and event sourcing as a way of persistence. And that's it. This is a nice tent because Keynote gave me this template. Uh, hopefully this is now generated. Yes, it is. Um, so I can start it. So basically what Rails Event Store, what this template did was generating migration because we need two tables 
uh, event store in event in streams and we need event store events so there are two database tables and some indexes we also have some ui for browsing the um oh sorry that's i i always do that i, I i'm like 14 years on rails and i keep forgetting about entering um the directory right so this should work oh that's, that's something that i wanted to show you as well and hey you're on rails so and that, as i said release candidate 2 ruby 2.63 um there is this stuff called res sorry that's not this one yeah so this is a browser for events there are no events yet but i will, sh will show you why it's important and we are on 0 0.41 right now and if you are interested in learning more about this approach obviously watch my next videos and other videos on this channel uh, but also uh, please come to rescon which is a Rails event store conference but actually it's a conference for ruby and rails architects where, we, where you can learn all about event driven architectures there will be a workshop there will be Rails architect master class the offline edition so it'll be a three days event where you can really learn a lot during those free events so mark your time in the calendar subscribe here so it's rescon.arcnc.com and you will receive a proper offer later maybe used with used uh, maybe we can use the crm for sending the offer and you can learn the details like pricing and so on and maybe you can talk to your company why they need budget to send you there so for now that's all uh, i hope it was um, it sounded interesting to you so in my next videos i will try to show you some next steps like how i'm deploying to heroku how i'm implementing the basic features so for now that's that's it thank you very much